Dear students, welcome back to Object Oriented Programming using Java. This is V.S. Sun Kumar, Department of Computer Science, Archer Degree College, Kakinada. In this section, I am giving you one of the important topic that is input and output classes. What is the importance of this class? What is input and what is the output? When you are learning C language, you use scanf function for reading values from keyboard because a program will write a program to take some output for a particular problem. So, when we are dealing with a problem in situations we need to give some input values like that we are going to take some output. In any language, it is common thing that language supports input and output statements. Using input statement, we are giving values, whereas using output statement, we are going to take output. In C, the input is scanf, the output is printf. Here, scanf and printf both are functions. Coming to Java, here also it is a programming language. So, here also we have to give some values as input and we will take some output. How do we give input in Java? So far we are writing a equal to 5 that means a value 5. It is nothing but giving values to variable but always it is not suitable because a value need not be always 5. It is going to change according to the execution. You are going to the ATM and you, you, are go, you withdraw the money. Always the way you are withdrawing the money is changes. That means, first time you may need 100 rupees or 1000 rupees or 10,000 rupees or 5000. The input value is going to change. In, the, in that context, what the ATM uh, gives you, that means it uh, gives you a prompt string, enter amount, where you are going to enter your amount. According to the amount, it will process. If you use like this, always A value 5. In next to execution, I want to give A value 50. Again, I need to change 5 to 50. Going into the program, changing the input values, assignments is not a good thing. So that at the time of execution, system asks you what is A value. According to the value, it is going to process. So like that, if I want to give a value, then we are going to use input statements. If you want to take the processed result, then you are going to take output statements. Java is the object oriented programming language. So, the input we are giving to the program is through class, class only. In C it is a function, in Java it is a class. Of course, there are different styles, there are different styles of classes, using that we are going to give input values. But in, in version 5, Java 5.0 or Java 1.5, 1.5 is also called 5.0. From 5.0, there is a new class added that is called scanner. Like scanf, here it is a scanner class. Now the scanner class is more useful than the previous other classes. Now, uh, instead of going directly to scanner, I will give you the previous classes. That means, buffered reader uh, that is the subject now I am going to give it to you just observe how we are going to read input values that you understand easily ok. So, here coming to the topic Java input and output is an essential concept while working on Java programming that is basically it is common thing any programming language it is important that the language must support input and output. It consists of elements such as input, output and stream. In Java there are three terminologies, input, output and streams. Input means that input will take values from keyboard, it is not a keyboard, it is not a class, just word. Output is a word which produces the answer, then what is stream? How the values will pass from within the computer? The method or the technique, how the values the given input values to output, 
how the values will transfer that is call it as stream the input is the data that we give to the program the output is the data what we receive from the program in the form of result now coming to the stream stream is the technique for example i given a value 10 how this 10 will be transferred maybe it will be transferred in the form of a byte that means bits okay or it may go on in the form of ascii test format or binary format what it may be the way how the data is transferred that is represented through stream team stream represents flow of data or the sequence of data what are the data for example take an example i want to enter kumar now k will go along with k u along with m along with a along with r it is like that what are the bits are there what the bits are generated from kumar that bits will transfer one after another like a stream that is call it as sequence of data okay or flow of data so in some situations for example i given 50 50 will be stored it will go after that i given 20 20 will go that means value after value in some situations 5 along with 5 0 along with 2 along with 0 the best example of stream is printf in printf where you are going to see when you are printing anything to printf in c language it follows a stream using the stream whatever the output for example a value b value c value all these three values will combine and go for example a b c the three variables having 10 20 30 you output you, the output you get 10 20 30 it looks like 1 lakh 2030 but actually here there are three numbers 10 is different 20 is different 30 is different because this is the flow of stream as usual you are going to give your data accordingly but the way the stream will take the values is going to change so stream is nothing but flow of data a sequence of data to give input we use the input stream and to give output we use output stream so for example i want to give input values i want to give values to give values what is required keyboard through keyboard we are giving values we say that this input stream is called keyboard i process my result i get my result i want to see my result that is call it as output stream that is input stream output stream okay now how this input stream and output stream how you are going to use input output in java how to input read from the keyboard how how to input is read from keyboard so there is a stream there is a stream name is system dot in the system dot in stream represents the keyboard that means i want to enter my input through keyboard that is my nature to read data from keyboard it should be connected to input stream reader remember input stream reader is the class that connects keyboard because this is the class responsible to read values from keyboard whether you are giving a value is a integer float or a string or a character what it may be from keyboard the values are read by input stream reader but only input stream reader is not sufficient so from input stream reader it reads data from the keyboard and sends it to the buffered reader if i want to give my name as input the first thing is i require keyboard the keyboard should be tuned by input stream reader input stream reader is going to tune by buffer reader what is the buffer because input stream reader will read value from keyboard the given value input stream reader will send to the, send to the buffer reader the purpose of buffer reader is it is going to allocate a buffer location a location in the memory where it is going to store your data maybe the data you are going to enter the continuous data or part by part, part by part data whatever it may be the values taken by input stream reader will send that values to buffer reader again from the buffer reader again from buffer again from from, from the buffer reader it reads data from the input stream 
for example, the first phase keyboard input stream reader, stream reader will read, it will send it to buffer reader. After that, at the time of printing or at the time of whatever it may be, from the buffer reader, it will take the input stream reader, it will send it to the output stream. So that is why from the buffer reader, it reads data from the input stream reader and stores data in buffer. It has got methods so the data can be easily accessed. So reading input from console, we can read values from console using three classes. What are the three classes? Buffer reader, string tokenizer and scanner. Buffer reader, string token, tokenizer and scanner. Of course, the following buffer reader is outdated. Outdated means we are not using buffer reader in the place where we are replacing scanner. Maybe this buffer reader is useful and also it is useful of course in file handling, not from keyboard. So that is why scanner is most important and it was designed in Java 1.5, it means Java 5. Okay. What is buffer reader? So buffer reader create the object A. For example, how do we use buffer reader? So if you want to read anything, if you want to read anything from keyboard, at first what you require? Keyboard that is system.in. The syntax you have to observe the syntax. Whenever you want to read a value from keyboard, remember the stream must be required, the stream must be required, the stream is from keyboard, the information is taken by input stream reader, this is the predefined class. From input stream reader, this will be taken by buffer reader, buffer reader. So that here this is called object. Now this object is the responsible to read directly from keyboard through input stream reader. So the example is buffer reader, some object name. You may write the object name anything A, A, B, B, C, C or Aditya, anything you want you may write. But remember this name, this is important because to touch this keyboard, this object is required. Because this object knows the accessing the buffer reader, from the buffer reader it will access the input stream reader, input stream reader will access the values from keyboard, send it to A, A. So buffer reader A, A equal to new buffer reader of new input stream reader of system dot in. This must be declared, then only your AA will support to read values from keyboard. If you are not defining this statement, nothing will be initialized to AA. This means the AA never access the input stream reader and input stream reader has no access with keyboard that system that in so that unable to read values. So that is why whenever you want to read a value, for example you want to enter your A's before the reading statement, you have to write buffer reader, some object name equal new buffer reader of new input stream reader of system button. But remember one important thing, here the input stream reader will transfer all your values in the form of strings only. Strings. Even if you are going to give a number, the number will be is transferred in the form of string. Later on we need to convert the string to integer. If you give a name, that will be transferred as a string, that is it is okay, no problem, but if you want to enter a name, the names will be entered in the form of string. Now see this example, just I want to read my name, I want to print my A's. It is very simple when you are using in, in a C language. In C language, simply we may write main, for reading a string, we define a char n of 20 to read a A's where we are defining int A's. Then how do we read name? To read a name we are going to use scan of percentage s comma ampersand n scan of percentage d comma ampersand a's and print f This is my program. How the values will transfer? How the from keyboard, how the values we are interacting? Everything is going on 
inside this can of that's why but in java it's not like that you are going to frame it from keyboard from keyboard system dot into input stream reader from input stream reader to buffer stream reader that will be assigned to the object with the help of the object you are going to read but here it is not like that where we are going to read so scan of name you are going to enter where age you are going to enter i am printing name and age of course percentage as percentage you already aware but this is the program but the same program we are representing using java so i told you already class class name public static void main you already aware i will explain later on why i defined this throw cyber exception because in my program i used buffer reader whenever you are using buffer reader it is important to define throw cyber exception this is called exception handling that is a very big subject in java i will tell you later but io exception is the parent class it is one of the parent class that you must define with through throws if you not define it shows an error why it is an error one thing i am telling you this buffered reader is helpful to read values from your file not from keyboard buffered reader is helpful to read data or values from your file not from your keyboard but now what i want now i want to read it from keyboard it means i am changing the device from file to keyboard this is called deprecation deprecation represents instead of file i want to read it through keyboard that's why i am using the buffer reader in the point of keyboard so that's why the meaning i am changing that's why the system is going to generate an error to stop the error we are defining throws io exception now here this is called main main body in the main body i want to read name to read a name what it said to you you have to read a name from keyboard so that's why you required a system dot in that keyboard is activated or accepted the keyboard that is accepted by input stream reader the input stream reader will accept the data the data should be placed into the memory that is in buffer to store the data in the buffer there is a requirement of new buffer reader followed by new input stream reader system dot n this is the major statement if you not declare this instruction it means your input stream reader will not accept from keyboard at the same time it unable to place the value into buffer so that's why the purpose of buffer reader is buffer reader will create an object now this object is responsible ai is responsible object oriented programming language where the program is through classes but the classes are operated through object later on from keyboard the activities performed by this ai now the ai equal new buffer reader i'm creating an object that is buffer in the memory to the buffer i'm linking with new input stream reader system dot in whenever you want to read a name or a number or anything this is a common line this is your common line you need to declare once you declare come down i want to read a name just i want i required a message you already aware to print a message we are going to use system dot out dot println then you are going to write enter your name this is just only prompt message just to print of hello how are you like that a small mess enter name now i want to read a name from where keyboard who will read from keyboard input stream reader that means the format known to input stream reader where the getting values where it is going to store that is buffer reader will store it in the buffer how the buffer is identified that is aa now this is a key role aa now write down aa dot read line the read line is a method read line is a method available in buffer reader the buffer reader contains a method that is read line read line is helpful to read your data even if you are going to give a data in integer it will store only in string format text format so that's why a dot read line will read a name just i am going to enter my name aditya it is just like a scan of but this read line should be prefixed with aa 
A A dot read and it will read a value from keyboard. That is Aditya. The given Aditya will be stored into name. What is the type of name? String. String is the data type. It will store your name. So this A A will accept you. Waiting for you, for your data. I given a name. That name will be assigned to name. Now system out that print error. Enter your years. Actually, years is in number. For example, twenty-seven years or forty-five years. It is a number, not name. So you must do. follow a small precaution. That is, again, if you want read anything, the only source is A dot read line, like the previous one where I read name. Here also A dot read line. Here A dot read line will read the value twenty-seven, but it is in the format of string. Or a num, uh, or a test. It will read a test. That is twenty-seven. I know that twenty-seven is integer, but the only nature of a dot read line will read the input stream reader will read only that type of data. So that I need a number. So that this is called wrapper class conversion. Wrapper class means here whatever the string is there, that string twenty-seven. I am converting it into number, number because here. The age is integer, so that's why I am using integer dot parsing. Parsing is a method; it converts your string data that is 27 into numeric 27 that will be stored in age. That will be stored in age. But here, why I am not using pass? Because the value you taken through age is always string. So here, name is also string. That's why the string will be assigned to string directly. But here, I am reading. A number, so that you require a special that number is an integer, so that I require that number to convert it into integer dot parsing. So it will be converted into integer. That value will be assigned to yes. Or you may use like this also. You may write like this. You may write a dot read, a dot read. Okay, a dot read means what happens? This read method is also the similar to read line. Nothing, no difference. The read line and read both are same. The purpose of read line is you may enter a long, lengthy of name, where the read will read a single word only. Aditya Degree College. If you want to give full Aditya Degree College, go for read line. If you want to read only Aditya, a single word is possible to read through read. It will read a value that will be assigned to age one. Of course, remember. Here also, you are going to mention integer dot percent. Okay, leave this line. You get you confused. This is the way how you are going to read integer. Now, I want to print my name and yes. Again, to print name, we use printf. Here, I am using system dot out dot println, where I am writing I am. It will emphasize followed by this concatenation. Here, uh, you should not use commas. From one string and the variable are separated with the plus concatenation. So, what is the name I entered? Aditya. So, I am Aditya. Plus, it will give you a space because here there is a space followed by yes. Yes, I given twenty seven. Of course, twenty seven is in number format because I converted integer dot percent. After yes, I use another string. I combine with plus concatenation. It will print. Years old. I am Aditya, twenty-seven years old. This is the message you get it. Okay. So uh, remember one important thing: whenever you want to read a value through keyboard in Java, remember you have to define this buffer reader some object name equal to new buffer reader of new input stream reader of system dot in. Then only it is possible. If you want to read a name like this, if you want to read your college name, then define string some C or college equal to A dot read line because already activated A. Whenever you, whenever you are going to use buffer reader, input stream reader, okay, these two classes, for example, buffer reader, input stream reader. Both are possible with the help of I/O. I/O. Whereas when you are going to use system, system and string, 
Whenever you are going to use these two things, for example, here I am going to use string. Here I am going to use string. Here I am going to use system. Here also I am going to use system. Whenever there is a system and string, you need to define lang package, not IO. These two predefined classes are available in IO. The system and string class both are available in lang package. That is Java dot IO dot star. See here clearly. Whenever there is a buffer reader and input stream reader, it is common thing. You need to define import import Java dot IO dot star. Here IO is called package, predefined package. In that package, the meaning of this buffer reader, input stream reader information will be there. When you are going to use system and string, it is important to define import java dot lang dot star. Lang means for string and system. By default, we are, if you are going to use string and system, no need to define this lang because it automatically, it will be loaded. Like stdo dot h in C language, this following lang package is default loading uh, loader class. Okay, that's why it will be loaded automatically. Whereas if you are using buffer reader and input stream reader, it is compulsory. And another important thing, whenever you are going to use buffer reader, it is important that you define a word at the end of string args. Throws IO exception. IOE must be in capital letters, input output exception because actually the purpose of buffer read is, read is to read from file, but here I am reading through keyboard where the problem arises. That is why to stop that problem we are using IO exception. Okay? This is this is your example program. You may type this program directly and you compile it you run it, the system will ask you enter your name, give your name, that will name will be stored in name, it will ask you yes, you have to enter the yes, the yes is converted into integer, that will be stored in yes, leave this line, not required, okay, then you are going to print, okay. So, this is a small example, now I will show you a real example, just I want to add two numbers, add two numbers, using buffer reader. Of course, nowadays we are not using this buffer reader, instead we go and use scanner. But uh, for an example point of view, I am telling you. Okay? So, as usual, there is a class, class name, this is a class name, add to buffer reader. That means, this program is based, based on buffer reader, that is why adding two numbers, this is a class name. If you feel it difficult to write that much of class name, you may write class example and publish static void domain as you know already. Here I am using buffer reader. So, I am writing throw cyber exception. In the next line, next time I need three variables. I am taking the first number is number 1, number 2, yeah these three variables are the type of integer. These three are the integer. So, that in the system there will be variable number 1, number 2 and followed by yeah yard is a variable where I want to store. Just like A, B, C, assume that. Instead A, B, C, I am going to give number 1, number 2, yard. Now, I want to read values from keyboard. To read values from keyboard, what will be required? Buffered reader, some object name, BR, I, I taken. Any name you want, you can take. New buffered reader of new, input stream reader of system dot in. That is all. That is all. This is a declaration. The declaration causes what happened? It will create an object BR. Now, BR is the responsible from that place we are going to read values. Okay? Uh, see this order line buffer reader BR equal new buffer reader of new input stream number stream reader of system data. Now, I want to read my first number. Now, I want to read my first number. How I am reading my first number? So, System dot out dot print I am writing a small message. Please enter two numbers to add. We will ask you a small message. 
Of course, if you want, you may continue this line after semicolon, or you may type it into the next line. Okay, because it is not mandatory that every line must be in a separate line. Because after semicolon means here you given semicolon it means you may continue the next line after semicolon. Again, semicolon after you may continue next line. After semicolon you may continue next line. It looks like a doubts and you feel it difficult when you are writing a large programs. That is why you try to write it line by line. Now, how I am going to read? Because from keyboard it is possible to read it through BR only because I defined BR in previous example AA. So, here I use BR. So, BR dot read line. Read line is a method, it will read from keyboard. So, what are the values you are reading? That value must be in a string format. Okay. That string value, what I given is converted into integer, integer dot percent. Okay. Integer dot percent, where as assigning the value to number 1. I define number 1 as integer. And I want to give second number. Again the same thing, br dot read line. It will read a string. I convert it into integer dot percent. I am going to store number 2. Number 2. So, we are reading first number into number 1. I am reading second number into number 2. Now, I want to add. How I am going to add? Add equal to number 1 plus number 2. Number 1 plus number 2. Then you get the answer, add. So, set the outer print talent. Add two numbers using buffer reader. Add. That means, it will show the add two numbers. I given 5 and 2. It will show you the answer. 7. This is the way. Now, see once again. So, here I am reading my first number with the help of br dot read line. The given string I want to store it into number 1. Number 1 is already integer. To convert the string into number, I am going to use integer dot percent. For suppose, if you want to give two float numbers, two float numbers, then you write this float. A, assume float A. I want to read float value. So A equal to what you are going to read? Leave this. I am I am not converting to integer type, float type. So that is why I need to give float. Here I is capital, here I is capital, float dot parse float. Here I am going to use parse float of what what is my object name? Br. Br dot read line. That's all. Here br dot read line will read a string. That string are converting into float type. That float will be stored into A. This is the order what we are going to follow. So this is the a construction. In the construction, buffer reader we are using that is br and br we are reading a string we are converting to convert a string to integer use integer dot percent to convert a string into float use float dot parse float this should be capital here the i is capital and the percent i is capital here also i is in capital i is in capital okay so this is the way and remember one important thing Whenever there is a buffer reader, it is common thing that you define import java.io.star. Import java.io.star. It will read a string type. So, sorry, uh, this package is useful to identify the class buffer reader followed by input stream reader. These two classes are belongs to this package. Okay, the one thing. I told you already, whenever you are writing a buffer reader, it is common thing that you define throws IV exception. It means always buffer reader will read values from file, but initially I want to read it through keyboard. That is why I, I given system.in. The system.in represents a stream from keyboard. Okay? So, uh, we are changing the meaning from file to keyboard. That is why you are defining throws IO exception. Okay, so 
this is a complete program you may if you want you may write the output like this also for example system dot out dot print ln double quotation result give plus do not give comma where result is there we add that is you may write instead of writing such a line you may write it here s is in capital letter capital letter will mark with underline the remaining everything will be small so this is a my small program dear students observe this program uh, that is buffer data of course learning a new class or the old class it is important for us because in the interviews if they ask you what is buffer data you must win the position to tell buffer data is a class that allows you to read from keyboard or from file the given data it will place it into the buffer that is important so rewrite the same program by observing this program rewrite the same program take any two numbers like this and then you are going to print addition subtraction multiplication and division so try this one then you will get and you feel it the java is easy because when you are observing c language is more e more easy because scan of here the print of you are observing the buffered input stream reader this use line you are observing but the advantage you are you will find it when compared with c language okay so this is the way how you are going to activate the class see here input stream reader this class is activated through new here buffer reader this class is activated through new because new is the only operator that allows you to execute the class okay so that is the following example of this construction dear students up to this topic this is called buffer reader okay uh, in the next section i'll tell you the tokenizer and scanner because scanner is more important basing on the scanner we'll try uh, at least five or six programs then only we go for con uh, control statements okay uh, this is the end today tomorrow i'll give you the scanner okay thank you thank you all Technologically Advanced Institution of Learning, Virtual Paradise of Professional Academics, Audit Yacht, Rising to New Origin.